is up, my little sugar buggers? Welcome back to the channel for a brand new chit chat and speculation video. So early in the manana, I took to Twitter as I typically do, and of course my notifications were blowing up all over the place about a new leak. But this time, you guys, the leak was all on the Sims team. So here we are at the Sims community website. I will go ahead and link this article in the description down below in case you guys want to go ahead and check it out. And it says the Sims 4's upcoming game pack icon has been leaked oh my freaking goodness gracious usually when these types of things happen it's like a target website or some other like website that actually carries or sells the game um but never at least to my knowledge has it been ea themselves and i do genuinely feel like this is a real honest mistake here i don't feel like they were being um you know like cheeky at all like i really do feel like somebody was like oh, 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 oops you know they dropped the ball but that's okay we picked it up anyways long story short the article reads another major whoopsie in the leak department has happened you probably already know that the sims team has announced that there are going to be three packs on course from april 2020 till september 2020 now that we have the sims for eco lifestyle the sims for nifty knitting all that is left to be revealed is the upcoming game pack and it turns out that we are one step closer to finding out what it's all about the sims official website posted a tutorial on their page on how to enter and play their latest sims park challenges however it seems they accidentally left the icon for the next game pack on the main menu take a look although this is super duper interesting news and we are going to now chart into jen's opinion territory keyword jen's opinion if you don't agree if you if you think i'm being nitpicky or whatever the situation is it's fine it's my opinion it doesn't really change anything here is a closer look at the brand new game icon. What do you guys see here? Let me know in the comments down below. My eyes tell me that this is something to do with outer space, obviously. It just looks way too futuristic to be literally anything else. Although I've seen dozens of people go and try to fit their own narrative of what is happening here, um, there was someone who, in my personal opinion, definitely hit the target. As you guys can see, there are three very large circles on this image. Image, which also appear to be moons the background that features this you know spotlight of when an alien abduction occurs is also something that in my personal opinion contributes to a more futuristic themed game pack also the actual landscape itself I'm not sure what's landscape and what structure but this to me appears to be some type of antenna communicating to a another world another universe um however okay you guys however 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 uh monkey or fluffy monkey says that batu has three moons it's confirmed let's go um and josh justice for bone hilda says i'm 99 sure it's going to be a star wars pack now i don't know but this particular image definitely looks very similar to this image also if the world itself does actually have three moons what are the odds that this image has three circles that also look very much like moons let's move on to jen's opinion as well as the opinion of others in the community i'm just gonna go and say this if we don't see eye to eye or maybe i might sound a little ungrateful for whatever is about to come i'm letting you know i'm letting you know that not every single pack is going to tailor to every type of player some people like you know one type of gameplay more than the other yabby be freaky yeah yeah i'm not here to complain i'm just here to say my thoughts and theories on if it is indeed going to be a Star Wars game pack. First and foremost, I think a lot of people um, are a little confused. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Yela says, if this is a space pack, I'm throwing hands. Get to work. Already had this concept. They need to fix that one instead of trying to charge me another $20. Keep in mind, the game pack is $20. Um, and it says, uh, let's see, I think people, uh, people think it has to do with Star Wars. Did you notice that the logo is upside down? It is completely different from the rest of the packs. The background is blue and the image is white. It's totally different. I think it means something. Um, looking at it out upside down, it looks even more weirder. It does. I, I mean, that doesn't even make any logical sense. Um, some people are kind of debating whether or not uh, this is going to be some type of future futuristic game pack star wars related um but 
In my personal opinion, I'm not really sure what it's going to be. However, if it is something that has to do with the future, if it is something um, that has to do with Star Wars, I personally can already tell you it is not my bag. It is not my vibe. No matter how good it is, it would have to do a lot of convincing just because I'm not somebody who typically plays with um, supernaturals by any freaking means. I'm definitely more into realism and I think if anything, it would have been really cool to have seen some type of like winter wonderland, like a ski resort or something along those lines. Now, obviously, we could be all reading into this very, 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 very wrong. Um, it could be literally anything at this point, but I definitely think the proof is in the pudding. Uh, I could almost bank money on it that it's definitely going to be some type of futuristic, you know, space pack. And I'm really curious to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Is this something that interests you? Are you guys into playing um, Supernaturals? And if aliens got an upgrade, how would that make you feel considering that was a paid DLC in The Sims 4 Get to Work, which I bought, by the way, FYI, I was not given that copy. I purchased that with my own shamoleons. But anyways, um, I, I don't know. I feel like that would be really weird if they if they revamped aliens knowing gosh darn well um, that that should have been done in, uh, you know, in, in, in Get to Work or at least a free update if you're going to do it. But um, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. It's really too early to tell. But I wanted to make this video because, of course, this just kind of ignites a little excitement, you know, a little bit of speculation, a little bit of, you know, controversy, I guess. I don't really know. But um, yeah, in the comments down below, I want to know what do you guys hoping for what are you expecting and in the future what are you wanting i like i said would have loved some type of like winter wonderland some type of ski resort something along those lines another vacation world i don't care cars i know a lot of people don't get the get the allure i love cars so that's why but um honestly i definitely would have went for for skiing above all but i guess you know what We'll have to see. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. Anything and everything that I've talked about in terms of like resources, I will link in the description down below so that you guys can follow these threads and do your own digging. Any other additional information um, that you guys find or gather and would like to share with me, feel free to do so on Twitter at XUrbanSimsX or you guys can start up a conversation in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys now that I'm